Thank you, Kate, and welcome to a beautiful evening here in La Belle Provence, everyone. The rain rolled through earlier on, but nothing can cool off these teams right now. For this offense this David, season. David Alexander watching off from the sidelines. This Pedro does load it up for a shot down the sideline. Hauled in. Charleston Rambo on the stat sheet immediately in the Alouettes cross midfield. For Charleston Rambo here early on for Jardo. Takes a drop on second and nine. Looks to throw. Crossing route. And it's caught. Flag comes up at the end of the play. Well, that'll be Nate Bahar. And a chance to get first points on the board here on Sunday night in Montreal. Altos is true. Yeah. I think he's going to play about six or seven <laughs> at some point here tonight. We'll keep an eye on it for you as the cloud Bethel Thompson into a whole shot, big throw into coverage and hauled in as Tevin Jones making plays at slot back for the Elks. They love him in this role. He sets here tonight, moving offensive lineman around in the backfield as well without a fullback in the lineup as they go to KB and Brown is churning the legs and refusing to be tackled all the way down near the 10 yard line as they've got something going with this Elks running game. Second and five from the Montreal six. Bethel Thompson pressure on, looks to throw, quick game, touchdown! Back where it all began, Gino Lewis in the end zone in green and gold. The defense gets some noise from the Montreal supporters on second and ten. Backside, little crossing route here. McCaw Bethel Thompson, another completion. And Darnell Sankey brings down Tevin Jones, but not until an Edmonton first down for the Elks. McLeod, pressure on on his sixth pass. And looks over the middle. It is complete Dylan Mitchell, and flags come out. Matthew McConaughey, I say we run the veer. There we go. Got it in. McLeod Bethel Thompson back in the game and into the end zone. Touchdown, Curly Gittens Jr. Montreal offensive unit. Also adds a championship glow after last season. This one up for grabs. It's a punt down the field, and it is intercepted as Edmonton gets possession back from Fajardo. Second and five for Montreal. Great substitution. Dylan Wynn out. Jeffrey Tanton on two back in the ball game. As now pressure on the clock by the Thompson. And in the backfield immediately. Montreal looping around. Foster, you put me on. I'm not coming off. Bethel Thompson some confusion on first down. He'll look to throw here on second. And once again, it's Canton Arcu flying into the backfield on back-to-back -back possessions. And the Alouettes once again have cashed in with first-round draft picks like they did with Marc-Antoine Ducroix. And on and on and on. They have made the most of their first-rounders. Cody Fajardo against the four-man rush on first and ten. Looks over the middle. Nate Bahar worked in the middle of that field. Balls in another one. They got them both in here again as Fajardo. Deep drop, steps up in the pocket, looks down the field, and it is complete. Just back, ready to roll here with a waggle. Cody Fajardo looking to Mack at the 10 yard line and knocked away. Great coverage. Just got a sense coming out of the huddle there that Austin Mack was fired up to try and go and score a touchdown in his return to Montreal, but Leon O'Neill Jr. said no thanks. Jose Maltos from 28 yards away. That's a crazy play by O'Neill Jr., by the way, spinning his way back. <laughs> Anyone who's ever played linebacker just watch that. It's a Soros staple what they do. Dane Richards that time with the power block, and now they spring Kevin Brown for a huge run down to the 31-yard line. Stares down the five Bethel Thompson on first and 10. He'll hand it off, Kevin Brown knifing his way through the Alouette's defense once again inside the 10-yard line. Let's see where McLeod goes with the rock. Hard count, rolls to his right, looks inside, nobody home. McLeod's going to try to use his leg, dives towards the end zone, and will come up just shy. But it'll be third and goal. And from 19 yards away, it's up and through. Not going to get a bunch of free plays because of turnovers. Bold on the return, backs up Montreal. So Fajardo from his own end zone throws this one over the top and going and getting it in between coverage. How on earth did Cole Speaker get that open in between three green and gold bodies? Speaker to make the catch. You flip the field with one big play and get great field position. And keep looking at here across the 55 and more. Walter Fletcher all the way down to the Edmonton 45 yard line. 
Walter Fletcher has a receiver. Three by three they go. Cody looks right, comes back left. Full speaker gets another touch after a really quiet first half. Speaker taking his turn in this Montreal receiving group. Crossing wires a little bit. So it's second and ten. And Fajardo stands in, gets hit again. Oh, no! Cole Speaker, turn five, touchdown! 33 big ones to Cole Speaker, third catch of the drive. Well, let's break the huddle here. Five receivers available. Four man rush. Fajardo checks down underneath. Walter Fletcher. Making people miss in the open field. The wheels are turning. And Fletcher pushed out of bounds. But not until another huge play from Walter Fletcher. Right in the middle of the fray. Saying, what did I do? Well, it's a fresh set of downs. Here comes Fajardo over the top. Throws it right to the back of the end zone. Did he hang on to it? Cole Speaker. Why not? Two second half touchdowns. On the short on the short end zone too, Marshall. That's an amazing catch. Great athlete too, Wesley Sutton being able to shift all over the place. Five receivers from the five double punts and pressure. Oh, down he goes! A sack attack for Jeffrey Canton Arku. Putting him right back on pace as Edmonton all out pressure. Pichardo gets blasted, throws it high and far. Charleston Rambo in front of the Edmonton bench as the Elks are saying that he pushed off But man, Pichardo once again just like the speaker touchdown Lapo stands in gets rocked and delivers an absolute dance Free Canton Arku we talked about from the Alouettes Pichardo on second and 14 after the sack over the middle and intercepted They drove on it and it's another interception as whistles blow Oh, and they'll say incomplete. After review, the ruling on the field stands. It's an incomplete pass. Edmonton, by losing a challenge, has lost a timeout. It's third down. A tag on a third triple of the night and extend Montreal's lead. That kick is true and through. Amazing pick by Dana Machocha. Doesn't feel possible, does it? Is this one completed? Once again, Tevin Jones, 41-yard attempt here for Boris Beattie. And he's going to miss. And a long field goal return potentially here for James Letcher Jr. Did it against the Riders, gets pushed out of bounds. And that is a win for the Montreal Alouettes. And keep in the extra offensive lineman, Kevin Brown, to 102 yards to the outside. Her Jamal Allen digs that one out of the turf. Now at the 24-yard line, complete. That's Edmonton, little flip inside. Curly Gittins Jr. on the pop pass, turns north-south, gets some great yardage that time, down to the 12-yard line. Head coach, Darius Jackson, will go. Calling the shots to McLeod, Bethel Thompson. McLeod looks right, underneath, caught. But it is short. And Eugene Lewis. On the receiving end, will have to take the long walk back to his bench here. Dakota Prukop launches from the sideline. They're not going to go for the sweep like they usually would in this spot. Little inside handoff. Got the push they needed up. Able to distract him knows just enough. McLeod Bethel Thompson, third and two. Just wants to pick up the first down. Heard Jumaiella does just that. So get a tackle, right? Play everybody deep. Know the ball's got to go towards the end zone. The ball has to be thrown there. The picket fence has been established by Montreal's defense. McLeod Bethel Thompson into the end zone. Incomplete. Mark Antoine Ducroix came flying over the top. And Montreal, with a comeback victory, will hang on and move to 10 and 1 on the season. 21 17.